couple years ago, we started, how many of you guys have heard of colony collapse disorder in honeybees? Okay, pollinators, big time problem. Anywhere from 40 to 100% hive loss. Okay, they're, they're using stronger and stronger insecticides, glyphosate still out there, very prolific. So the bees get it. It, it, what it really does in the bee is it destroys the lactobacillus and the bifidiobacterium, which are the main good guys. The, enter, the enterococcus, these good guys, are the nutrient producing microbes in the gut. Well, the glyphosate is very chronic. It's not acute. It's a very, very, very slow death. And in bee years, you know, it might be 50 years, but in a, bee, in a human life, it might be 30, 40, 50 years. In a bee year, it's one year. But when we look at it, when we alter their gut microflora, and the bad guys now produce toxins, it weakens the systems, and they slowly die. So we took a honey producer and a bee inspector from the northern part of the state of Utah. We called him up and says, I think we can stop colony collapse disorder. And he goes, yeah, you two and the last five nut jobs that come and talk to me. And I says, well, come talk to us. We'll give you some products and let's fix this. And it worked. We now have his death loss at what, less than 5% now? It was 5% last year. I talked to him this week. It was 5% this year as well. And the average is in the 35 to 40% national. And, and some way higher. Both. It, it, it's it's a combination, Dave. It, it is. And so. If it be that bad, how come everybody's in good shape right now? We're in good shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're 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 just slowly. Decomposing. Yeah. <laughs> but what, how we fixed it was we simply put the beneficial microbes back into the bees. And we put the minerals back into the bee food. And it completely corrected. And so we've seen this over and over and over is if we put some good biology back in there, all of a sudden we get rid of irritable bowel. I mean, there's a reason that we have irritable bowel syndrome and celiacs and Crohn's disease. It's because we have microbes that are taking our food and putting it into a toxin form. And when our body goes, hey, check the barcode on that baby, that shouldn't be in here. It goes, uh oh, autoimmune response, and here we go. We've got multiple sclerosis, we've got diabetes, we've got Lou Gehrig's disease, we've got all of these things the body says, attack, attack, attack. Okay, we're producing things that aren't supposed to be in us.